Welcome to another video on uh, Alexa skills. This time we're going to look at using uh, the pill on the pillow instructions, that's the images, in Alexa APL code. Um, this all started really because I wanted to display a GIF file and you can't do that directly from uh, the APL code. All the APL images need to be a JPEG or a PNG. So we'll start and have a look to see what the problems are first. First of all, obviously, they're not supported by Alexa devices. That's mentioned this link here. So we're going to see how we can convert a GIF image and display it uh, using uh, Alexa, um, Amazon programming, Alexa programming language. Uh, two problems. First of all, we need to use the pill libraries. I became unstuck here because if I used a Lambda function, which is how I started, uh, you really need to download pre-compiled binaries and it's uh, not impossible, but it's quite a tricky thing to do. Uh, I may even come around to doing a video on how to do that at some point. Also, to display the GIF file in a or any image file in an APL, we need we need to convert the GIF file to a PNG or a JPEG, but also we need to save it in a location, an HTTPS location, um, to read it from. So we need to save in an S3 bucket. Now. This is what we're going to end up seeing, just displaying this. This is a GIF image running in the developer console. Um, so both of these can be solved by using Alexa hosted skills. Um, it loads the correct pill libraries for you. Um, but if you do want to do it using Ask CLI and uh, Lambda skills that way, there's a couple of references here that will help you do it. Um, and the Alexa skill, uh, hosted skill also provides an S3 bucket for us. Um, so we can use that directly for HTTPS storage. So let's see how we read the GIF file, save it locally, convert it to a PNG, upload to a, an S3 bucket using a pre-signed URL, and then using a JSON, the APL requires some JSON code, um, to look at the HTTP, HTTPS source and uh, for our image. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let's create a skill. I'm going to call it GIF display. Uh, I'm going to use when it gets there. Come on, English US. Uh, I'm going to use a custom model and we're going to do this in Python. So we'll create the skill. And we're going to start from scratch. OK. So that's going to take a while just to get our template up and running. Um, we'll just return back to this and see what we do. So we've started the skill. Um, I always check the invocation name. And um, because we're using APL, we need to uh, click the interfaces and select the APL. Then I'll talk through how we, what the code that we need to change, what we need to add to it. So... How are we doing? I might just pause for a while while that's doing that. OK, the build's completed. And we can start looking at it. The first thing I always ch just check is the invocation name. So the invocation name is going to be GIF display. Um, because we're using APL, we need to add that to our interfaces. So if we scroll down here, Let's change. Oh, there it is. Yes. OK. Um, we add that and then we'll see all the um, devices that we can select or deselect. And we'll save the interfaces and build the model. While the model's building, we can carry on looking at our code. So we've created our skill. Got the invocation name, uh, added the APL, saved the model, build it. OK, now we just need to add some code. So the code we're going to add, first of all, we're going to add this render document directory, which we need for the APL. Um, I've got an import URL lib request because the GIF image I use comes from one of my GitHubs. And I'll put all this 
code and this instructions in the in a GitHub and link it from the YouTube site. And we also need to import the pre-signed URL to get our URL S3 bucket we can deal with. And we want to import a pill to do our image manipulation. Then down here, we've got a, a, JSON, a JSON, which we're going to use for our APL. And I'll just talk through that in a minute. Let me just copy that and paste that in our code. We'll put it before the launch request to handler. OK, um, so we've talked through this. The, this JSON here is the APL so that we can display it. Um, it's quite a simple APL. It just has one con a container and there's one item in that container, which is an image type image. And the source comes is comes here and we'll modify it. We'll get our source there. We'll change that in our code. OK, so the next thing we need to do is, oh, I modify the create pre-signed URL code in utils.py because I need later on in my code, I need to know I need to use the S3 client and the bucket name. So I slightly modify this code I'll save that for now there's a utils.py here and this utilities provides us with this pre-signed url that enables our code to access a an s3 bucket so all i do is i'm just going to instead of just returning the response sorry i cut and pasted the wrong thing Control c is to return the client and the bucket name which we'll use in the code in fact we could always regenerate the bucket name here and we, i suppose we could always regenerate the client as well but these are the two things that we need for later on in our code so we'll save that and so that just is the same code there save the file uh, now we need to make the changes to our launch request handle. This, this will just display on the launch request handle. I'm not modifying any, I'm not adding, changing any intents or uh, um, any other code apart from the launch request. It'll just run when we get the launch request. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it in and then I'll talk you through what we need to do. So we don't need that. So the launch request handler changes from that to this and what i'll do is i'll just make one more change we need to make one more change to this requirements.txt let's just save the function pi and we need to make one more change to the requirements.txt file we need to load down the pill libraries so we'll just add that to these requests here, requirements here. OK, so let's just return back to the Lambda function. I think that's all I need to do. OK, so we can save, deploy and test our code now. So whilst I'll deploy the code, and whilst it's deploying, I'll just talk you through what we've done. We've talked through the JSON. This is the launch request. So what we do in the launch request is, first of all, we retrieve a GIF file. Um, we've got this, that's a picture of my cat when he was very young, called Perkin, it's a GIF file. We save that locally in the slash temp directory. Now to convert it from a GIF to a PNG, we just do use the image open, which is why we need the pill libraries, and we save it. So I save it as a PNG file. So that's how we do that. That's easy enough. Now we need to decide uh, a location to save it in our S3 bucket. So I've given it an object name. I've just called it S3 to remind me that it's in an S3 bucket. And um, we'll use that in a minute. So what we do now is we create a pre-signed URL that enables the rest of the code to access this or you can pass that to anybody else who can use access this and we create a pre-signed URL called 
s3perkin.png. Remember that was in the utils. Um, then we can use that object name as the key along with the bucket name, which is why we need the bucket return from the pre-signed URL. And we save the file temperkin.png by uploading it to the S3 client. Once that's uploaded, what we get back is a, an image URL here, which we can use to access the object. So that's if you look at the image URL, you'll see that it's an HTTPS location. OK, I, in here I've commented out some code, but just if you really want to check that the object's been uploaded, you can also do a list objects, do an S3 client list objects in the bucket, and you can see what you get. So the final, the only thing we really have to do now is modify this source object in our JSON code. If you remember, it has our main, I just called it main.json here, main JSON here, and it's main JSON, uh, main template items, item source. Um, so it's main template items, item source. So I replace that with the HTTP URL. And now I change the speak output to just say that we've done it properly. Then the return is slightly modified from the original because we add the directive, we add the render document directive, which adds the APL code, uploads the APL code, which is why we needed the render document directive up there. And we pass it the main.json. And the deploy worked. So hopefully if we go to test, we should get it working, should work. So we, to test it, we need to turn, turn into development. We can type GIF display here. And we don't need the skill IO. And hopefully the device displays will all work. Loaded, saved, converted and displayed if successful. And it works. So we've uh, now successfully displaying picture of my cat, which was a GIF, converted it to a PNG and saved it and displayed it on a, an APL file. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you do get any er errors, you can always check in your CloudWatch logs just to see what, how they're doing. And to get there, you just go code. Um, I'm in the EU, so I have to go to the EU site to get the CowWatch logs. And I don't think we put any logs in there or anything, so the CowWatch logs is probably just quite boring at the moment. Yeah, start, end, report, that's it. So I hope that helps you. Uh, best of luck.